I needed something that was gonna be delivered like quick. So I found me some clothes like elsewhere, like some clothes and some shoes, because I got clothes and shoes. And then they, it wasn't gonna be delivered in enough time. Like it, it wasn't gonna be here in enough time for this video. So I had to like quick, 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 like find like other clothes and stuff. And so like I just kind of really like I don't know. I bought the first few clothes to me, like the first things that I saw that were cute, like. I just kind of got those, so it's not really like my style necessarily, like what I said, I want to go more in depth, more in depth, <laughs> um, with that later though, I'm going to go more into depth with this later though. Okay, so the first outfit that I got, it was, it's kind of like uh, the outfit that I got that I wore to, uh, Pride when I went to Pride. It's kind of like that. So, um, it's this kind of a cute little thing. It's a two piece, well, it's a three piece because it has this little jacket to it. So, oh, and then the shoes that I got. So, the shoes, I don't really. Okay, so let me just talk about like me buying clothes, period. So, I don't really, uh, can you see my nipple? Uh, I would have taken my panties off, but I'm on my period, so my panties are gonna be on. Um, anyway, uh, oh, right, right, so never mind. We, I, I won't even talk about that. What, what I was talking about though was uh, pride, oh, clothes and shoes. So, oh, right, my shoes, these are really nice and they're really lightweight, like, they're not like heavy or nothing. These are really nice. Anyway, so, uh, so you guys know, I grew up in this big household, this big family, and like, uh, uh, the clothes that I got, I got like hand-me-downs and like, clothes like my grandma's friends, my grandma's friends would like give her clothes, and then my grandma would give the bag of clothes to us, and that's really just like where I kind of sort of got my clothes, like, Here's the next outfit. So really, I like to try on clothes like before I get them, but uh, I, I bought them online, girl, from Fashion Nova. Girl, I got this. I got these clothes from Fashion Nova and shoes from Fashion Nova. Did you guys see my shoes? These shoes? 
Do you see this? I like these. Anyway, uh, oh, right, right. So I, I like fall and stuff. And then I thought all of my clothes look so matronly. <laughs> like, like all of my clothes that I have, I look so old. Like, uh, anyway, though, anyway, though, like, the hand me down made me look old. And then the clothes that I bought, like, no, like I just like certain prints like flowers <laughs> anyway 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 I kind of have to go. anyway there. anyway anyway so I, not only is it hard like finding clothes that I like like see I guess it's like really the style of it and also like how clothes fit or used to fit or how they fit on my body like I used to you know I was very limited in what I thought I could wear because of what I like, what I thought looked good on me, right? So like, it, I felt like I only had like certain clothes I could even look at. So uh, that might have had a little bit to do with it. Uh, uh, yeah, right. So I just I wasn't going out, so I still really wasn't buying clothes. I mean, the clothes that I did buy. Anyway, I said there's this one outfit that I'm definitely not tall enough for, like. I got this top and then I got these. It's a skirt. It's a really, really long skirt that I'm definitely not tall enough for. Anyway, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just. There are clothes that, that I know that I like. First of all, like, do I look like I got coin? Like, do, 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 do I look like I got coin? Do I look like. I, I said, do I look like I act like I got coin now? Like. <laughs> Do I look like I act like I got coins? Anyway, 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 um, right, so I, I said, no, really, I, I don't know, there was just one outfit that was really expensive, and I said, girl, anyway, girl, anyway, I, I said, I know what I would like, I just, I think it's about how it would look on me, I don't like going out to stores trying on, trying on stuff, I did say I like to try on stuff before I get it, but that's only when I go out getting clothes, and I don't get clothes often. I hate trying on clothes, but I hate shopping. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So, here's another outfit that I got. That, uh... So, here's another outfit that I got that, that I, I said I was going to say I don't think I'm calling it for it, but maybe, no. You see that? So anyway, let me walk real quick. Real quick. I need to just... I'm gonna just have to step on the bottom of this chair. So it's a two piece. It's a two piece. I like the shade of green. I like the shade of green. Uh, so oh, and then here are the shoes. So they're just some white girl sneakers. White shoes, girl. Uh, so let me tell you guys about this. <laughs> uh, Jesus, the cars are so loud. Girl, let me tell you about this. There was this one one time in middle school, girl. I went to school with these shoes on. They were like some pink and white Nike shoes, and I had like <laughs> spilled some um some like lime neon green nail polish like on my shoes. And it just, I said, I didn't know how to take it off, like how to like get the nail polish off my shoes. So I just dried all the shoes and I like wore them to school. Now, you know, people are really like sneakerheads. People are really like sneakerheads. Like, that's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. Cause I really, I really am not. I said, really, I'm not. Like, I literally, let me tell you guys, I literally have so now with these one two three four pairs of shoes that i bought and then those one two pairs of heels that i have I, you guys i had like one pair of like sneakers like one pair of like walking running shoes and then i had a pair of house shoes or have well had yeah girl i don't got no shoes girl like i, I, I don't know i don't know shoes have never been like a big deal to me though like the, shoes haven't been like a were never a bill to me. Uh, so I wasn't really like worried about like what kind of shoes I was wearing you know, ever, period. I guess so like up until now. Um, 
anyway though so oh right right so i don't know we were it was like the end of the day and we were standing around you know waiting to go home and they were talking about people's shoes <laughs> like they were talking about people's shoes and the day that i wore so my feet are big right and they've always been big so like and then the shoes they were big heavy shoes and uh, uh, I don't know I don't know they, they honestly they weren't even that bad to me but this one guy I, he, I don't even remember what he said to me honestly I don't remember what he said to me but he talked about me though he talked about me and my shoes and I said sir I don't even care <laughs> anyway but these shoes are so light these, these shoes are so light though, like... Alright, on to the next outfit. Okay. Here is the fourth outfit. The fourth and final outfit. Um... guys the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me like like it was like I was embarrassed like this one time and then I've never been as embarrassed as I was then so every other time that I've been embarrassed after that it's just kind of been like <sighs> anyway so girl I was in like fifth grade maybe I was in elementary still and, and you guys know uh, so I was girl, girl I guess girl fat I had some girl weight on me that Insecure. I had some weight on me that made me insecure and like you know I didn't want people's like eyes on me or nothing but look I was playing with somebody girl I was playing with somebody and I was like running girl like chasing after them I was chasing after them and then like girl I slipped and I fell like <laughs> I slipped and I fell and I ripped my pants like <laughs> you guys I, I felt like I slipped and I did a split. I did a split and I ripped my pants and I said, oh my God, because like what was going through my mind at the time was like, I was like, I, like as I was running, I was already thinking about like people like looking at me like, go fatty, go, run fatty, run fat. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just about me though, girl. Anyway, anyway, girl, like. I already in my mind people were like girl girl trying to run anyway and so like it was that and then like I slipped I did a split girl a bit my pants and I was like oh my god girl everybody is looking at me like oh. girl anyway anyway I I ripped my pants and I had to go to the nurse nurse's office and get a pair of pants from the nurse I had to get some shorts from the nurse and then I put my shoes on the wrong feet. Like I went back and I had my shoes on the wrong feet like the rest of the day. And nobody said anything to me until I got to like girl band. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, girl, yeah, these shoes are so, I like this color. I, well, I do, but I thought that they were gonna be a little closer to this. Like when I got it, I thought they matched a little better. I'm not embarrassing. <laughs> and I'm not no stalker or nothing. So let me tell you guys about girl my strikes out my strikes out so let me tell you the i said i had maybe a few crushes in elementary but there was this one crush that i had in middle school on this guy on this guy and 
let me tell you, it was really like a big deal because my friend was like, are you still like guy boring? Like, do you still like not have like any guys like that you will at least like? Like, there aren't any guys that you like or nothing? And I said, no girl, not really. Like, no girl, not really. And then, I don't know, girl, I guess, girl, I saw him one day. We had to have been in seventh grade. We had to have been in seventh grade. But anyway, I saw him one day and I was like, oh, you're cute. You're my crush. And so I girl, was telling people that I had a crush on him. I was telling people I had a crush on him. I only told like three people, girl, and I don't even know why it was a big deal. Like, the fact that I didn't even really have, like, I mean, the fact that I only had a few friends, it shouldn't have been as big as, as big of a deal as it was to so many people. Like, because there were so many people who were like, actually, and I was like, what? Like, it, I don't understand. Anyway, girl, anyway. One day, one day though, it was during lunch, it was, girl, after lunch, it was after lunch and we, and we were just kind of like, so the bell hadn't rang for us to go back to class yet, but like we were out, out of the cafeteria and so we were just like standing around waiting to go back to class and I walked up to him and I was like, I, I, I don't even remember like how I went about it, but like I went up to him and I whispered in, your, in his ear, I was like, am I making you uncomfortable? And like I said, Exactly, and then I just kind of like slid my hand like up and down his back And I asked him if I was making him uncomfortable or if I made him uncomfortable and I said I think I can say yes kept his distance from me he just kind of looked at me girl from a distance but let me tell you something let me tell you something he knows that he would have talked to me <laughs> he knows that he would have talked to me plain anyway anyway though so girl yeah that was girl we didn't ever talk though we didn't ever talk or nothing <laughs> So there was that and then okay so I didn't really strike out or nothing because like I didn't ever meet her or nothing like we never met or nothing the second person I met her uh I was on Twitter and somebody was like like if you want to be put in a group chat and I liked it to be put in a group chat and that's where I met her so uh, I talked to the group chat for a little and then I, I think maybe I messaged her first like outside of the group chat and I was like, hey girl, I just said hey, because I didn't know, like, I said the guys now, maybe I know how to go about talking to guys, maybe, but girls, I don't know how to go about talking to girls, I don't know how to go about talking to girls, like, I don't know, anyway, anyway, you know, so yeah, I tried to, you know, like, shoot my shot, and like, I, I did, so we had talked for a little, and then, uh, so this was from the summer, and I actually, I had worked, so actually, before I worked there, my grandma owns this, like, building where she runs this, like, summer camp out of, and so I was, you know, I went to the summer camp first, and then, like, once I was old enough, you know, I started working there, and then I started, like, working at the summer camp where I watched kids. Anyway, anyway, so, right, right, so it was during the summer, and I was, working and so i was talking to, i was texting her telling her it was a weekly summer camp so it was monday through friday and not on the weekend so i was like friday you can come up to the uh to this building and you can uh exactly you can come up to this building and then i'm gonna ask my aunt if the two of us can we can spend the night at her house mm -hmm. <laughs> and so i was like we can go to my aunt's house See, in, in my mind, girl, see, I had, because she said she wasn't, she was new out here, and so, in my mind, girl, I didn't have no car, but I was gonna, like, girl, ask somebody to, like, drive us around, girl, you see, so I was like, I could show you around, like, what's out here and stuff, no, and I don't know what's out here and stuff, girl, anyway, 
anyway, um, my point is though, like, while we were at my aunt's house, girl, see, in my mind, girl, like, <laughs> I wanted to go to her, like, like how this is gonna work like i was gonna get her girl to my aunt's house and then i was like am i just gonna like ask her to go like, like am i gonna ask her like, like am i just supposed to like be like hey can i kiss you like <laughs> working at the zoo girl I started working at the zoo and there was this guy so I, I said you know what I have crushes <laughs> I, I, I thought I get crushes but they only they they only last so long though like I get crushes I, I do crush often but they only last so long <laughs> but I get crushes girl anyway there was this one guy who was in another department uh, he worked in a gift shops girl and i had saw him like maybe like a month and a half into like me working there and i was like girl you were cute so he was another tall boy but he was so but he was a little black and mexican maybe i think he was black skin oh and the one the one the one that i asked with with the hand and i asked if i made him a couple girl he was black skin i like black skin i like black mexican i like black skin Anyway, sorry. Moving on. Moving on. He was black to Katie. He was taller. He had a little scruff. And his hair, I like dark hair. I like dark hair. His hair was up. Dark, curly. Uh, like I tall. said, he was tall, girl. Sturdy, another sturdy built one. Girl, anyway, though. Anyway, though. But one day I had finally worked up the courage to, like, be like, okay, I'm gonna talk to him today. Like, I'm, I'm gonna talk to him today. And. So on my break, on my break, I went and I got like some ice cream, I think, and I went to the gift shop and I had walked in and he was like, just kind of like walking around the stores. And so I kind of like walked over to where he was and I asked if they had had like smaller like stuffed snakes or something for like one of my siblings or something. And he said, yeah, they're over there or something, girl. <laughs> Anyway, so I, you know, was trying to make like girl, small talk girl. And so I asked him that and he was like, yeah, they're over there. And so I went and I just kind of walked away. So there was this other girl. So there was this girl though. There was this other girl. And she, she walked over to me and she was like, you, you trying to talk to me, huh? She was like, you, you like him, don't you? And I was like, girl, I was like, Jesus. Is that a little bit more obvious? And she said, anyway, <laughs> anyway. I should have known then that she was like trying to like drop things like girl maybe she's not that interested in you <laughs> see I should have picked up on it then but I did it I did it and so at the end of the day girl I went back and he was outside he was outside next to like one of the gift shop stands playing with a bubble blower girl and so I asked him I was like if I asked you out what would you say and he said well it depends but like he said something about like girl him working two jobs and him not having no time and something like he at first he just said it just kind of depends on like what you're like asking or something and i said i said if i asked you to go out like on a date or something like what would you say he said well girl and then he said i was 17 at the time i was 17 at the time and he was like well because i think he was 19 he was like i'm not trying to catch face or nothing like I'm not trying to catch my face or nothing. And I was like, uh oh. So you might want to go on a date with me. <laughs> I, like, I, 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 like, I was picking 
up that he wasn't really feeling me, but also I was having fun. Also, also I was having fun and I like seeing how people react to things. <laughs> I was having fun and I I was having fun and I felt very confident. Like I said, I worked up this courage to go talk to this man. Like I might as well just like finish talking to him, like finish from what I came here to do. Like I might as well. It's so like I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and ride this confident wave and I'm gonna keep talking to him. So and then like I said yeah and then I like watching people like react, I guess I guess to me, girl, I guess. And he I said, I'm sorry he was all comfortable, girl. Anyway though, anyway though, so we left from right there. The consensus was I'm not finna go on no date with you girl. Well actually no no no, that's a lie because you know I, I asked for his number and he said I don't give you my number out to strangers, but you can have my Twitter though. And so he gave me his Twitter and I left with his Twitter. That's what I left with. I left with his Twitter. And then, I don't know, he didn't talk to me on his Twitter. And then I said, I don't really know where it went weird because we didn't really talk after that. But girl, I guess he would walk by and I would look at him. Or I remember there was one time he had walked past where I was one time into like the gift shop in the back of the zoo. Anyway, and so I went into the gift shop and I was like, I need an umbrella knowing that he was in there like i said i don't know if he saw me see him but i went in talking about i need an umbrella <laughs> i said i'm here for an umbrella not you sir and then there was another time where he had it was girl hot like shit and he had like you know those like bottles that had like the fan on the top it's like you spray like the water it's like it's like a water fan it was a water fan and i said it's hot like shit let me go give me one of those girl and so actually he was see I was going to the gift shop, but he was in the break room. I went to the break room to get, girl, money maybe? Girl, I don't know. I went to the break room to get something, girl. And he was in the break room, girl, filling them up, though. Filling up the, uh, the spray water bottles. And I was like... <laughs> he thought that I was a stalker. <laughs> he thought that I was so weird. But I said, okay, I said, I'm sorry for looking at you. I said, I maybe went to the gift shop one time. Well, okay, so the first time to talk to him that first time and then the second time to, for the umbrella, but that was it. After that, girl, uh, it's not my fault that we caught eye contact sometimes. Like, the rest of that was not my fault. <laughs> Look, oh, all right. So anyway, it just, I don't know, it got weird and I really felt that he thought that I was really, girl, a stalker and just, girl, crazy. Like, he was just like, girl, can you move like and I was like what do you even why I said girl anyway like sorry so I got I left him alone though like after that like I really did like leave him alone like after like maybe running into him in the break room like, I left him alone like so I was one day I was sitting at this little splash pad they had a splash pad that's actually where I was when I think I, he had the fans, I think is when I was at the splash pad both times. Anyway, anyway, so I was sitting there, it was at the end of the day, girl, it was literally maybe like one person in the water, maybe, if that. I said, I don't think there was somebody there. And he had walked over to me, and he was, he walked over to me and was like, so here's my number. He gave me his number and I was like, Ugh. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, hey. I was like, so that means you gonna stop being weird now? Like you gonna talk to me like we're friends? Like we could be friends now? Like you gonna stop being weird? Like it's gonna stop being awkward now? That's what this means? And he said, no, 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 this is my last day. He said, this is my last day. Here's my number. And I said, oh. He said thanks. <laughs> he said thanks. Anyway, so I went home that night. Oh, he told me, bro, what time he got off. And anyway, I went home that night and these cars, there's so many cars today. Oh, right, I texted him, girl. I texted him, I was like, hey, this is actually, uh, I think I asked him, like, what made him give me his number, like, what made him, girl, talk to me. I was like, yeah, like, what made you, girl, like, go, give me your number, talk to me. And until, we, we, we really, we really, really could talk about nothing, literally nothing, until, uh, I think, 
maybe he didn't have his red notifications on and really I, I, I said I, I, don't, I don't really care I was just I said I didn't know what else to say like I was I thought I wasn't really flirting but I was kind of sort of flirting and <laughs> I was like turn your red notifications on bitch and I called him a bitch but see in my mind I, I wasn't calling him like a bitch bitch like fight me bitch I was just saying like bitch turn your red notifications on <laughs> exactly bitch exactly I wouldn't call him no bitch or nothing but that seemed to make him mad he did not like that granted we didn't really know each other not really like that but I, I said it's no time for some small talk <laughs> anyway <laughs> anyway oh, yeah uh, right so I called him a bitch and then I got this text I was like hold on hold on hold on, hold on. Who, do you, who are you calling a bitch now something 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 this is his girlfriend uh something 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 who you call it a bitch and i said i said what i said his girlfriend oh right she was like this is his girlfriend she said he don't want your young ass so she said something like that and i said first of all first of all he came up to me and gave me his number like i didn't say that i didn't like text her that back because I was just so lost at the time. I was like, your girlfriend? I said, you, literally, what did you even like come up? What'd you give me a number for? Like, what'd you come up to talk to me for then? Like, we, we really, I, I said, I, I said, I don't know. But I responded to her, girl, why are you talking to me? You need to talk to him. I said, I, and then I was just, I said, I didn't mean to make nobody mad. I, exactly. I said, I think something, I think I said something about like, I, when I said bitch, I didn't mean it like, you know, mean way or something. I said, I'm right, bro. This is, girl, I'm just a friend or something. I said, it really wasn't even nothing. I said, I didn't know he had no girlfriend. That was literally one of the first things I asked him. I asked him if he had a girlfriend and how old he was. I asked him if he had a girlfriend and how old he was and he said he was single. I don't know, because I know she sent me two texts. I know she sent me two texts and then I said, girl, anyway, and I kept it moving because I said, first of all, you're not cute enough for this. And then, girl, he said he didn't have no girlfriend. So, so that was supposed to be like his last day, the day that he gave me his number, right? Girl, I saw him the next day and I was, girl, going to go up to him and tell him how much of a bitch he is or how much of a bitch he was, a girl for that. I said, you really, anyway, anyway. Cause I was mad at the time. I was like, you, what was the point? Girl, and then the fact that I saw him, I said, all niggas do is lie. All niggas do is lie. Girl, all niggas do is lie. Anyway, anyway. So, girl, oh, right, right. And so I said, I don't know. I didn't really have any time to go just talk to him that day and then I think maybe it was the end of my day and he I saw him walking back from somewhere and I on my way home I was like gonna like go, go talk to him and I had ordered my Lyft or my Uber or whatever and I saw him and so I was going to chase after him like I was gonna go try to catch up to him and then my ride was there or something and I said it's not even worth it I'm gonna go I'm gonna go so yeah, you would think, you would think after that I would be turned off from like approaching people, period, but I said, I don't know, cause don't know. see, that was my first and only time ever approaching anybody. Well, I guess other than her. See, see, no, no, I didn't tell her though. I didn't tell her though that I was trying to eat her out or nothing. I didn't tell her that. I just was telling her that I was going to take her around. Like, <laughs> I was just gonna show her what we had out here, what I know we have out here. <laughs> like, uh, I didn't tell her I was gonna eat this So I, I don't really count that. And I didn't ask the first one, my most good friend, I didn't ask him out. He's the only one that I asked out, and that's how that went. And I said, at least it was funny. At least, really, it was kind of funny at the time, because really, I was telling the story the next day. <laughs> really, I was telling all my best. <laughs> really, because like, <laughs> Exactly. I went to work mad the next day telling everybody what went on. Exactly. I mean, I was mad, but I was I was able to laugh at it. Girl, it don't matter. It don't matter. So that was sad. And then I've only ever kissed three people. I said, I think I've talked about this before. 
Uh, the first one was girl, sixth grade. Anyway, anyway, girl, anyway. Um, and then he was my second kiss girl. I was 18. I was 18. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so I met him at the city. And he had worked, he was one of the chefs, girl. And I, uh, what? Oh yeah, girl, he approached me one day. It was one of those days where the zoo were closed and then it was gonna be open for like a night event or something. And so it closed and I went to get like a snack. And so maybe some like some fries. And I can't remember if I was in the restaurant or if I was in the back, but I saw him both times. So I think, I think I got my food and then I went back to the break room and I sat down. So there's like a break room and there's like outside. So I was outside. I know I was inside. I was inside and him and his friends had walked in and I said, and he just said, oh, that's how he felt. Oh, that's how he felt. Okay, cool. Anyway, cool. Anyway, um, right, right. And I said, what is she looking at me for? What? So later that night, he didn't say anything then, but later that night, he, oh, well, no, he did say something. But it was just like, hey, it, it, it wasn't nothing. Later that night, though, I was working, I was standing back at some event, the event that we reopened for. And he came over to me and he was like, I don't know, we were having a conversation. And he said, he said, stop looking at me, you're making me hot. I said, what you mean, stop looking at you, I'm making you hot. I said, what you mean, stop looking at you? Like, I would have understood if I was saying something, but I wouldn't say nothing. I was just looking at him. I said, so you don't want me to look at you or nothing like what you mean girl anyway anyway he was so cute like I, I, you you know how people are cute when you have you know their, their, their first little crush on them you know you know anyway so girl let me tell you i ended up paying girl 60 dollars because i didn't have a car yet and so i was like ubering and lifting to and from places and girl he lives lives girl on the north side Long story short, I had to get a ride to the mall where we had went, girl. And it was like $30 there and then like $30 back home. And I said, girl, cause he said, he said he was gonna pay for my ride back or pay. Girl, he told me he was gonna pay for something and then he didn't. And I said, anyway, <laughs> girl, anyway, anyway. Um, oh, right, but I met him at the mall and that's where I had my second kid. My second first kiss, girl. Like it was, we went to the, it was one of those malls. It was a mall and a theater, and then we had saw some movies. We went to see some movies, and then afterwards, when we left, he had like kind of like I said, I was standing in front of him and we were talking, and then he just kissed me like hard, like shit, hard like shit. <laughs> exactly. I said, chill out. You don't have to kiss me so hard. Hold on, let me see if it's recording. It is. Exactly. I was like, chill out, like. You, you don't gotta kiss me so hard. Like, if I said I'm, I wasn't like, I'm, you don't gotta kiss me so hard. Like, I'm not gonna push, push you off of me or nothing. Just chill out. And I just gave him kisses like that, girl. Just like that. It was so cute. And then he was talking about, girl, me going out to school with him. Girl, me leaving, girl, where I wasn't going out to school with him. Girl, I didn't even know that man's real name until, like, girl, after we stopped talking. It wasn't until after we stopped talking that I knew that man's real name. <laughs> like, I was talking about going to school together and stuff. Like, sir, I don't even, and then I never even found out his last name. Like, uh, I, no. He, I said, cause you know how some people, you know, they tell you stuff and you can tell they're just telling you stuff just cause, cause you know, it's stuff you want to hear, right? And then, you know, I guess there are some people who just kind of have different feelings and they really kind of mean some stuff and you can tell when people are the same. It felt like people just kind of meant stuff, and I said, "Sir, you're moving a little. You're talking about some stuff that hey, chill out, chill out." And I told him to chill out like three times, and he didn't. And then we never talked again after that because chill out with that. Girl, anyway, girl, anyway. So yeah, there was go that, and then and then and then there was another chef from the zoo. There was another chef from the zoo <laughs> okay so this one this one he approached me maybe like girl maybe sometime like the end of december maybe 
January maybe? I was sitting outside, I was eating, and he came and he sat next to me. Like, I was sitting outside by myself. Like, I was sitting by myself, and he came and he sat down next to me. You want to be my friend? Like, are you, do you want to be my friend? Like, is that why you're sitting here? Like, you want to be my friend? Like, like what, are you, what, are you, what are you sitting here for? <laughs> and then he didn't say nothing to me. He didn't say nothing to me. Like, so he disturbed my peace because it was what two two other tables outside and then a room full of tables inside that he could have sat at and then he sat down next to me on the side that on the side that i was sitting on like he didn't sit across the table he sat girl right next to me and i said are you, are, you, are you trying to be my friend like what are you doing and then he didn't say nothing to me and i said And I asked about his ear piercing, his cartilage piercing, because I didn't have mine yet. I don't think. I, you know, no, no, I lied. I did have mine. I did have mine, but I didn't know what else to ask him about. I, cause he, I think it was he was on the side where he couldn't see mine, because I already had mine. But I didn't know what else to like talk him about, so I was like, ask him about his cartilage piercing. Anyway, anyway, so I said I don't even remember how we moved on from there because he didn't give me his number then. He gave me his number later and then he did not talk to me. Like he did text me. Like girl for a good two months, like we didn't speak and I just said you guys cause I'm so what is the word? Lack Sedasical? Like when it comes to, my friend told me I was aromantic. My friend told me I was aromantic and I believe her and that makes sense. And anyway though, I said, I don't know, like I just want friends. I don't want a boyfriend. I don't want a girlfriend. I don't want a relationship. Maybe, but we have to see though, like there's things we have to see first before we just go into all that. So if, girl, you come up to me, you give me a number and then you don't talk to me, I'm not gonna chase after you. I'm not gonna assume that you're trying to come at me on no kind of nothing. Like, I'm not gonna assume nothing. I'm gonna just be like, okay. And I was just like, okay. And I kept going. So, honestly, I didn't even see him, like, go out at the zoo. Like, I didn't even see him up at the zoo after that. <laughs> until, bro, I guess, until I did. <laughs> until I did. Um, oh! Right, so one day, girl, he came up to me and was like, I'm, she was like, I'm sorry, I, uh, I just did, uh, you know, work it out for me. So I was like, I just have some other stuff going on. I said, okay. So I, and, and, and I said, okay, and I really did just mean, okay, I said, you got other stuff going on. And I said, I'm not no important factor in your life. You don't know me. You don't owe me nothing. You don't owe me nothing. You, you weren't talking it. So if you have something on, I thought I was just like, oh. And so after that, he, you know, he started talking to me. And honestly, honestly, like, you know, after we started talking, I thought, I, I don't know, but I, maybe I just, like, I never had anybody, like, come up to me, or I never noticed anybody trying to, like, go get my attention. Or maybe, I've also never talked to anybody the way that I talked to them. Like, he's, like, the closest thing that I ever had to, like, a boyfriend. He's the closest thing I ever had to a boyfriend. And, uh, what was I saying? Oh, sorry. So, in the beginning, like, when we, after, when we started talking, it was, it was so, like, I don't know, you know how, I guess, guys try to be, like, Mr. Smooth. We try to be Mr. Smooth, but, like, it was like, he was, like, nervous, so, like, yeah, it's, like, it, it was, like, he was nervous, like, I, it was so cute. I said, I'm not going to embarrass you like that. I'm not going to embarrass you like that. But it, there's just one thing that happened that was so cute. And I said, maybe, maybe I can give you some of my time. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. And that was a hard maybe. Because look, so later, later, so later on down the line, like pretty, pretty, pretty soon for me, for me, I realized that he was just like a brother to me, like he was going to be like one of those brother friends to me and not my boyfriend to me. He, he wasn't my boyfriend. 
like in my mind. Like I, 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 I didn't see us going with and off. And see, I thought that we had multiple conversations. I thought that we had multiple conversations about like us just being like friends and stuff. Like I thought that that's or maybe I thought that that's how we were. Maybe the conversations that I thought we were having, I just kind of left it hint. And maybe I didn't flat out say, I don't really see us dating a baby. But, I don't know. I just thought that we knew that it was like a bunch of things. Except for the one time, so actually, so I was meeting him for a date one time. And I was using the house. This is back to uh everybody everybody was at school or like at work and so I was home alone and I was leaving and my dad had pulled up and he was like, Where are you going? And I was like, Oh I'm going to, I'm going to the movie because I was going to the movie. And he was like, You don't leave without telling nobody. You don't sit. and I said, I am sorry. So I'm going to the movie and I'm coming home. And he said if you get in that car, don't come out. And I got in the car and I went I went I went we met at a restaurant so I went and I met I went to the restaurant and I was on the he had called me and he was like, I'm at the wrong one. I said I think I'm at the wrong place. I go and I bust with you. Because I was stressed because he told me to come home. And then he was at the wrong place and I was like, so does that mean you don't even want to come? Like there was just I busted into tears on that phone and I said, sorry, sorry, because it was real. I said, go win. So I cry, and then sometimes I cry. So if you get a cry, it's not that bad. But girl, if you give me what I'm crying, sorry, 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 sorry. Anyway, he got me one of those times when I was crying, and I, anyway, so he he met me at the restaurant and then we went to movies. And then we went to movies. <laughs> Girl. And we went to the movies and so the first time we went to the movies together, he thought I fell asleep. The first he thought I fell asleep. But I was looking down at I saw when we were eating, when we were eating, I was like, oh yeah, when we were eating, I was like, you so I could like I got like so I fell asleep like when we went to movies like the last time and I was like no 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 I'm like but there were so many people there were literally so many people around we were on this road it was like first of all in front of us it was like a whole world of kids like it was like a birthday party and so it was like the parents on the road with us and maybe like a few kids and it was like a whole world of kids girl it was so many kids I said I can't give this man no hair right here but then. The second time we went to the theater, girl, it was, it was during the week. It was Wednesday, it was during the week, girl, and nobody was there. Nobody was there. Nobody was there. We were in the back. It was me and him. And then it was, like, a, another couple, like, at the front of the theater. Like, at the front of the middle of the theater. Like, they were at the front, front but they were at the front of the middle of the theater. So we were, like, at the top in the back by ourselves. And I said, <laughs> I'll go ahead and give you some kind of a quick if I asked him, like, I was like, could I give you some kind of a And then he just said, he just stopped talking. He was like, I said, what you, what you want me to do? Like, how do you want me to start? Like, you don't, you, you don't get to just, like, you gotta start. Like, you gotta start. <laughs> you gotta start. Like, you gotta do it. Like, exactly, exactly. Like, you have to, like, do something first. Anyway, he said, you have to start for me because I didn't know where to start. And I was like, I don't know where to start. Anyway, anyway, I gave him a hug. I was. Take like so, like so. I kind of have a thing about like wanting to be accepted with like everybody where I do like anything. But see, this didn't cost. It didn't cost me a lot to get accepted. So I gave him a chance. He took it so so nice. It was really so nice. like bent over the seat and I was giving a tablet and then I said can I get on my knees and you have to ask if I can get on my knees and then he said well I have to get my hands off and I said no and I said no 
and then I don't really, I don't really know what happened, but he ended up taking his pants off, and all the way, and I said, yeah, and I got down, and then I had an icy go, I had an icy, <laughs> I had an icy, <laughs> snow cones and stuff like I like cold stuff like I like ice I like ice and slushies and snow cones and ice and I will fight I will fight anybody I will fight anybody who tries to tell me a slushy and an icy it's the same thing I will fight anybody who tries to tell me that those two are the same thing a slushy and an icy a slushy and an icy
boy the other two with this one. But it, it, it don't matter. But and my favorite outfit was the other blue one. This, these are shorts, the other one with a skirt in the top, off the shoulders. I think that was my favorite outfit. I think the white shoes are my favorite shoes. I said these outfits really are cute to me. And that green color, that little jumpsuit thing. I like that color. Bye. 